Hi, thanks so much for being here. Welcome or welcome back. This video is going to be a quick video talking about how I set up my companion planner, um, the ones that I chose to be a companion to my everyday um, master planner, which is the one that I wanted to do, and just kind of chat a little bit on how I am planning on using it, how I've been using it this past week, and all those good things. So if you're interested, I hope you stick around. So you know, um, I think if you've seen my update planner system for 2024, you've seen that I chose the common planner um, TN size or the N1, and that's how um, they call it in the, the website as my companion planner. And what I mean by companion planner is this is the planner that is sort of like a summary of my um, my information that I have on my one that I wanted to do, which is my master planner. So in here, you've seen this one before, I chopped it down and I have a, about three months in, um, in my rings at a time. And so here is where I planned everything from finances, to do's, personal, home care, family, you name it, it's in here. So from here, I kind of take what I want to um, uh, keep in mind. So for example, if I'm out and about, I am going to be taking my my companion and the information that I feel that I will need when I, I am out and about, that's what I put in here. That's how I have been approaching it this week. I might switch it uh, as I go um, just to kind of try to find a way that I feel more attracted to, to it and I don't feel like I'm doubling the information in here. So um, just kind of copying, which I still do copy, obviously, um, information that I have on my one one two two into here, but um, I just kind of want to make it feel new and different, a little bit different. So I'm still kind of working through um, of that and I uh, have been here just a week. So I'm just going to flip through it and kind of show you what I've done so far as far as setup and all that stuff. So in here, um, I'm holding it in my retro Moterm TN cover. Um, I got this one actually last year and the idea was that I wanted to use it for homeschooling um, um, for like record keeping and stuff like that, but I just never got to it. I just never, never feel attracted to it. Most of my tracking for homeschooling, I do it online. So I didn't, didn't feel the need to actually do it in paper. So I just never used it. And I thought about destashing it at the end of the year, but then I decided to um, just keep it with me and use the system sort of like my companion sort of approach. So anyways, in here I have a clear pocket, which it, it came with it. We have the long pocket in here, which I'm just hold, using to hold stickers, the card pockets I'm using to hold some pictures, and then the planner. And then on the back of it, um, you have the clear pocket side of it. And in here, I'm just holding more stickers and um, more uh, elastic ribbons and uh, tabs and stuff like that. Things that I might need to reach for when I'm planning. Um, and I'm just going with the flow. So whenever I need something and um, uh, for example, the tabs that I have been reaching for lately, I just grabbed a few of them and I just have them in here handy in case I need them. And um, I might just go through this pocket in every now and then and just clean it out in case um, so I so it doesn't get too bulky. So anyways, here in the front, I'm using a cloth and paper clip that um, I got in the one and only actually subscription box that I ordered back in October 2023. And uh, I just wanted to kind of see what she sent on the, I think like ordered the pen, the pen enthusiast or something like that with a few pens and stuff like that. Uh, but I wasn't really impressed. So I didn't order any more. Uh, that was it. I might consider it uh, now that I have the rings for 2024, just to kind of see um, what she sends um, as far as uh, accessories, I guess, for planning, not necessarily inserts because I am using my one that I wanted to do. Anyway, so here in the front, I did um, just added a sticker here um, just to kind of capture memories as a reminder of it. I, that's what I really want to do in here. Um, I'm thinking that since this one is smaller and much smaller than my one than my Wonderland to do to A5, I might um, consider keeping this one for reference at the end of the year instead of the ones I wanted to do. We'll see how that goes, but um, but I just kind of want to approach it that way. So I wrote in here just a, a random word that I found online. It says, I think I'm pronouncing it right. It's uh, Elizian, Elizian, and uh, and if I'm not, then correct me. But um, I think it's Elizian, and it's uh, it just means a beautiful, a blissful state. So that's what I want this planner to be. I just want it to be fun. I want it to be approachable. I want it to be rule-free and I do want it to be functional. So um, just a little bit of everything, but mo more than anything, I want it to be fun and functional. Um, so yeah, I just put a sticker here with a camera uh, just to kind of represent capturing memories and just grabbed one of the extra pockets that I have from my Hobonichi and put it in here. So I'm just holding a little stencil here that I truly never use, but I have it around. So I just kept it there and I have a road um, Polaroid printable or print that um that I was using for one of my common placing notebooks or inserts. And uh, I just like the what it represents. It represents a new road ahead and uh, just opportunities and options, possibilities, all those things. So I wanted to keep it there just as a reminder. 
in here and the next one actually um this one is the little page that comes with the the brand or something uh that is attached to the binding i don't know how to explain that or how to call that page I, it always gets on my nerves so i just um resort to gluing it to the cardstock so um, we're skipping that page on the left here i decided to use this as my inbox since it is in the cardstock it's more sturdy and easy for me to just grab some sticky uh like a bunch of them and put them here in case i need them and then the calendar here i'm using as as uh, just uh, traveling reminders and other important uh, dates that might come up through the year. Maybe I'll come over here and highlight those just to kind of have an uh, overview of the year and what's coming up. So, um, yeah. And then the next two pages, which um, I believe she set them up in here to be meant for vision board. I'm not sure. Um, I know they're the empty pages, so you can do whatever you want with it. I decided to go ahead and use them as my vision board for the year because in my Wonderland, what I'm doing is instead of having a vision board for the entire year, what I'm doing is um, um, having a board, a uh, mood board for the month, like my most focused item for the month. That's what I am setting in here. So in February, you will see that I'll have a different one um, just to kind of represent the focus for that month and so on. So in here, um, instead of doing that per month, I decided to go ahead and add the vision board for the entire year and just added uh, pictures and visuals to represent each area that I wanted to focus on. I actually did a um, milestone setup for the year 2024, my process, my review, my reflection, and how I arrived to the milestones that I chose. So I'm going to link that video below in case you're interested um, in kind of comparing that information with the visual that you see here. I also posted a picture on my Instagram in case you want to see like a close up, I guess, of uh, the pictures. Um, on my view, my goals setup or the goals page breakdown that Sterling King offered on the Common Planner, I decided to go ahead and list those same milestones and um, started to break it down. I just don't want it to be too strict or too um, uh, forced. So I'm allowing, uh, I am allowing myself some time before I actually go in and continue to add more stuff because I, I started adding the first one and I found myself um, not necessarily feeling what I was writing. So I want to take my time and. Um, when I do feel like it, I just come back and, and add those there. I do have my my uh, vision of what I, is it that, that I want to accomplish at the end of the year. So I do have that idea. I just have to kind of break it down. So and then the quarter review, what I'm doing is just kind of breaking those goals uh, or those milestones into chunks. So for the entire quarter, I wrote down the most important things that I want to accomplish. And then I divided those into the three months. And what I'm doing here on the right side on the tracking is tracking whether or not I spent some time doing any of it. So what I did was color coded three areas just to focus off the day. So um, whenever I am focusing and I feel like I had a productive day because I completed my main focus for the day, I'll come over here and, um, and uh, record that. Um, the same thing for content creation. I just kind of wanted to have an idea on how many days of, of the month I'm creating content and uh, for personal to-dos and things like that that I want to continue to work on for to arrive at my, my milestones. I also color-coded color -coded that in here and I, I added the same colors for the rest of the month, but I didn't add the item that I'm tracking in case I do decide to change that um, uh, by the end of the month. And then at the bottom here, I'm just tracking stats for YouTube and Instagram and I'm using one of these clips, uh, Midori clips, I believe it is, just to kind of hold a quote in here and also to hold my months together to arrive at the, um, actually the quarters. So this was holding the quarters, the rest of the quarters and uh, in the first month that we have in here. So to arrive to the month that we're currently in. So when we get to February, I will uh, clip it in here. That way I can arrive to it quickly from my goals or my tracking to the monthlies to the weeklies. So that's what I'm, I'm holding in here as well with the next clip, just read the, the rest of the months to get me to the current week. And then I'm holding a, another quote in here just because I wanted to have it around and I don't know where to put it yet. So I'm holding it here for now. And um, the weekly, what I'm doing here, just going to show you real quick. Um, uh, basically, what I'm doing is just writing down the main focus for the day on the left and then to do's on the right. So it's um, that's what I wrote up here. It says focus of the day in daily to do's. So for the day, I wrote um, the three main items that I want to focus on and then whatever we were doing that day or other to do's for that day. And that's that's what I'm writing in here. So I'm not writing like memories or anything in here like I'm doing on my my Wonderland um, but I might switch that if I do decide to keep this one at the end of the year so we'll see how that goes on the right I am just adding more trackers just to kind of fill the page because I didn't know what else to to add so I'm kind of duplicating some of the main tracking items that I do on a daily basis as well as my sleep and focus tracking 
and meals, shopping, and notes. And then I just have a picture there. So for next week, I'm still thinking how to approach it. I this is me like testing it. So I guess the entire month I'm gonna be testing how I use this and how I want to tweak it to be a companion to each other instead of just duplicating all the information. We'll see. Now if I do um I want to make sure anyways that I do use my what I wanted to do for like my main planning and my planning everything you know all the details and all the things and this one to have all the important information that I might want to refer back at some point and uh, maybe pictures and reminders and stuff like that so I want to it, it's going to be a mix of both planners and and both planners I guess so a lot of information will be duplicated um um inevitably I guess but but I still kind of be want to be mindful on how I approach it so I'm giving myself some time to, to find my way through through it um so we only been here for this week anyways so not much to show you here um the other thing that I did was um these are the other weeks and then the other thing that I did was at the end of the weeks we have um the note pages and this one is a compact version so it only has 121 pages I'm not planning on using them as daily pages anyways so um just have them there in case I need them and what I've decided to do was on the left side um windows uh note pages this is the last week of the year when the note pages begin on the left I decided to use it as an index in case I do have information in here that I want to refer back at some point and even if I do have information on the weeklies or monthlies that I want to refer at at some point I'm I'm thinking I'm gonna add it add it to this index in here and then I use part of my vision board book to create like a cover um tip in in here to divide my pages from the index and then the note pages so chose this one just because of the colors and the aesthetic of it and the camera because again to remind me to uh, keep the memories of what's important to me and all that stuff so here are the notes pages and there's really nothing else besides that so not a lot of uh, setting in here I did went through and um, try to preset or, or try to think about what I wanted to have in here and did like a mini session of what what I usually do just kind of put sticky notes on the sections and um, adding my own notes but eventually I decided just to go with the flow and I wanted to film it and everything but again I just wanted to really uh, take my time and, and enjoy the process and when you're filming what you're doing it's just not the same you feel like um I guess constricted on what you can do what you how long you take and all that stuff so um so yeah anyways um uh this is what I have so far I just wanted to kind of do a quick flick through of my initial setup um this is definitely going to change as, as I continue to use it if you have questions or suggestions on how I should use it if you have used a uh, companion to your main planner and you have any tips for me please leave them below I will definitely be uh, appreciative of, of that because I am feeling like um like I'm duplicating a lot of information and I don't want to do that because it just doesn't feel as attractive uh, as I want it to be so yeah anyways um this is pretty much it so I wanted to again show you uh, the the setup so far what I have been doing in here and how I've been using it and uh and yeah if you have questions suggestions or if you have any recommendations I guess of other videos other uh, channels that I have um done a similar approach I please feel free to leave them below and until then thank you so much for watching and I will see you on the next one